Hey beauties, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you the one quick way, the easiest way possible, that you can get super soft skin in one quick easy step. All right, so today I'm going to jump in and the video that I'm going to show you is me making my go-to recipe that I use for my relaxing bath teas, which are available on the website. But it is just showing you the different herbs and um, flowers that I use. The idea at the end of the day, you can choose whatever blend you want. You can come up with your own herbs. You can mix and match. You can do one. I would just always suggest at least throw some salts in there, whether it's Epsom salt, Dead Sea salt, uh, just some kind of salt because it, it really does help detoxify your skin and it's just going to help add to softening the skin and that luxurious feeling and it really does help um, get rid of impurities so that's always good and then obviously whatever herb you choose and if you want to do some essential oils you can do that as well but if you want to skip the essential oils because you don't know how much to use or what to use that's totally fine you can still have an amazing experience just using dried herbs and salts it's you're still going to see a benefit your body is still going to feel so much so nice and so relaxed afterwards so in this video you'll see everything that i use everything that i put together and how i do it and if you want to learn more about why i chose what i chose i'll definitely highlight a little bit of that but i just wanted you all to see that there is a super easy way and effective way to take care of your whole body without all the fuss so super effortless super easy and i really hope you enjoy it so i will see you on the other side hey guys welcome back to the channel so today i'm going to show you how i make my bath tea i do have this available on the website but i'm going to show you here how i make this luxurious blend to make your bath time so simple so easy and lazy girl approved so go ahead and jump right in watch the video and let me know what you think at the end all right guys we're gonna jump right in and we're gonna start with the blue corn flour this has a striking bluish, purplish blue kind of color. So I absolutely love it for no other reason than just aesthetic reasons, but it really is beneficial to the skin. So it is great for anti-inflammatory properties. So after a long day where you're, you know, you have dry, tired feet or your body's just sore from maybe a hard day of working out, running around, whatever it is you're doing, this is a really great delicate flower to help soothe and has a really beautiful calming effect to the blend. Blue corn flowers are really, really good at also treating eczema. It helps, it's a natural astringent, so it helps contract and tighten the skin and also helps enhance the appearance of like dry or damaged skin, which is really good with helping reduce like flaking, helps restore your skin's like natural like suppleness. So if you're dealing with like super dry skin, whether it's your normal uh, skin type or if it's just because it's winter or you're in a drier climate than you typically would be these are great this one is a little hard to see i didn't get it all in the camera frame but this is lavender so this is a dried french lavender that i absolutely love um if you've seen any of my other videos you see any of my future videos you are going to know that I absolutely love, love, love using lavender. Lavender is just an all-purpose dried herb, essential oil, flower, what have you, to just have inside, outside, just your house, how in any and every way you can. It's so, so great. This is obviously one of the more relaxing herbs you've seen lavender baths you've seen lavender teas lavender oils it's great for children it's great for uh, aching muscles soothing muscles lavender is really just an all-around staple it's like a pantry item for your apothecary 
This is so good for helping de-stress your body, helping with mu muscle tension, helping with anxiety. Just the aroma that you get even from the dried herb is just absolutely fantastic. All right, I'm going right in with the rose. Rose petals are any, it's kind of, I mean, it's dummy proof, right? Definitely have to throw in rose, if nothing, for no other reason than the color. It's just so pretty. I love a good pink element to anything, but in terms of its benefits, the benefits that you get from rose are never ending. It is hydrating to the skin. It protects the skin from losing moisture and preventing, uh, preventing excess loss of moisture. Uh, it also helps prevent radical free radicals and toxins from entering the body, entering the skin. It is great for just overall keeping your skin clean, clear, refreshed. The softness that you get from the nose and smelling rose while you're in a bath is just like the most luxurious thing ever. So absolutely hands down, I'm adding the rose. You saw that right, safflowers. Safflowers are rich in linoleic acid and are wonderful for improving the skin's texture. It promotes elasticity and it leaves your skin feeling so smooth and so supple. I could not could not not add it to this blend. Hibiscus. There is so much I can say about hibiscus, but I will not take this entire video to do it. However, you have to know that hibiscus is called the Botox plant. Enough said. Hibiscus is known for its natural source of alpha hydroxy acids. So it exfoliates, it tightens, it brightens the skin. It gives you this radiant complexion and we don't need to just limit that to the face. Let's add that beautiful richness. Let's add that to our bath tea so that our skin looks all over our body, looks just as good as the radiant glow that we get from all of Shia Skin products, right? Now, truthfully, hibiscus is one of those beautiful, beautiful plants. It's highly um, astringent if you were to like make it in a tea because it's you'll see it on a lot of beauty teas. A lot of beauty teas give you that vibrant color to... Um, Kind of draw you in quite frankly but also it is incredibly hydrating on, on hot days it's good to drink regularly it also isn't like i said it's astringent so it's not like a sweet flavor it'll actually cut through some of the richness of any other teas you have but hands down hibiscus is where it's at Chamomile flowers are an amazing benefit to this relaxing tea blend. We also know that you can drink chamomile tea at night, a little chamomile tea and lavender, nice combo for relaxing the body and helping you sleep. Well, the flowers have that calming effect. So it's really good to add to this blend for you to wind down, to just kind of decompress at the end of a day, but it's also really good at soothing sensitive skin. It reduces redness in the skin, provides a comforting and gentle aroma to help you unwind. So there's really no reason chamomile should not be in this blend. Okay, now for my favorite part are the salts. I absolutely love putting salts in a bath whether it's a bath uh tea like i'm doing like we're making today or honestly just doing a salt or sugar scrub on my body i really just love how that um the exfoliating benefits of these salts just soften your skin they're detoxifying rich all of the things so the first one we're going to be using here is a really nice dead sea salt it has amazing therapeutic properties. It is rich in magnesium. It helps soothe and hydrate the skin. It has a unique mineral composition that aids in like detoxifying, as I mentioned earlier, and also alleviating skin conditions. 
You absolutely do not want to skip this step in this whole process. If you do nothing else, make sure to throw in a little salt to just really amp up this root bath tea. The second salt I always like to do too is the pink Himalayan salt. This is a really nice fine salt, so it will be really gentle on your skin. It's not gonna be abrasive, it's not gonna scratch you, but it is really nice and fine, really light. It is a natural detoxifier. It is contains so many minerals. It helps relax the muscles, reduce stiffness, promote overall wellness. Like we're reducing stiffness and relaxing the muscles. I mean, this is why we put it in the tea. So right now I'm just doing an extra mix, making sure everything is very well combined. I wanna make sure that I get a little bit of each herb and flower in each bag. So now I am mixing up the essential oils, which is the natural fragrance for the blend, but also that aromatherapy element, right? You're going to get the uh, aromatherapy benefits from all of the different scents. The blend of the scents itself stand alone um, as this its unique signature scent. Now this scent was designed with the following things in mind with calming the mind how do you de-stress yourself after a stressful day and if you have the luxury of the time and you have something as quick as this that you can give yourself that 10 15 minutes to take a bath this blend is what i would have in mind for just kind of washing away the the day so i went from an aromatherapy perspective of how do I holistically do that in this blend obviously you want to relax the body you want to soften the skin you want to relax the muscles you want to just decompress and just overall sit still well when we sit still I don't know about everyone else but for me sometimes when I sit still my mind still races so I threw in a little bit of clary sage that's going to help kind of quiet the noise that's happening in the mind. So to just kind of help you relax and calm down and just stop with all the, the chatter that's in our head. Then I also threw in lavender, of course, because it is a natural sedative. So I figured this is something you would do right before bed. What better way than to relax your body with a really beautiful and nice floral sweet scent of lavender. Some of the other essential oils I use in this blend were meant to kind of balance those out, give you something again for the muscles, for the skin, for the mind, for the overall pleasant scent of the product. Try what you like. Just don't overdo it on how much you put in there. More is not more. 
sometimes less is, is, is more, especially with those really powerful, very fragrant essential oils. Always make sure you're using quality and 100% pure essential oils. But you know, stick. if you don't like lavender, try something else. Like try using something that you like that just makes you feel really calm and feel relaxed. That can be geranium, it could be vetiver, uh, frankincense. Frankincense is really good at making you feel grounded. Uh, you can take a different approach to it. At the end of the day, make sure you like it and it's something that you enjoy doing. This is part of your self-care routine. Okay, now I'm going to add the salts to the main batch of herbs and flowers. I per personally like adding the essential oils to the salts. That's a good way to get them really well incorporated. They're very thoroughly mixed in, and then that way you can sprinkle that out throughout the main batch. You also want to make sure that you get a nice even distribution of the salts and oils. So I like to make sure to um, incorporate them slowly and into batches, mixing it in a little bit and then adding some more. So now I'm gonna take the mixture and add them to the bags. You can use any kind of bags you like. You can use a, um, a muslin bag that you just reuse every time you want to use the, the blend. I would just make sure to put this blend in an airtight container because you don't want the essential oils to evaporate. What I do when I package these, I do about five to a jar and then I seal them in a glass airtight sealed jar that way that they stay um, they stay ready so that when you actually receive them the every the aromas are still there everything is still there and then you eliminate any kind of condensation or anything like that because you don't want the salts to get wet and kind of start to um, well melt away so that's what you'll be watching here is just me you know bagging up the the blend
So there you have it. Super effortless, a very easy way to enjoy uh, a bath, give yourself a little extra TLC and enjoy some real good quality time without a lot of fuss. A lot of times we put it off because there's just not enough time in the day. Here's a very easy way to squeeze in some additional TLC and so if you yeah. choose. Let me know in the comments what you choose for your bath time or what's your favorite go-to herb or if you just throw in a bunch of Epsom salt and call it a day because you know what? Sometimes it'd be like that. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one, and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye. Here's another tip. If you don't have a bath, you can still use these. These are great for uh, foot baths. That was kind of one of my, you know, purchases around the 2020 times, and it is great, like just for your feet. You know, I used to work in hospitality years ago, and a foot bath will change your life. Smell having an aroma, having an aromatherapy like it. Blends tight in a knot, throw the bag in a bowl. I'm sorry, throw the bag in the tub, let it. All right, I have 10 minutes. One easy step, no. But I need, the bath is to relax. The bath is not to relax and then gear up to do chores, right? I don't wanna do work. I don't wanna clean. It's super, what's it, it's little.